So what do you guys prefer in a guy? Really rich, really black, at least six <laughs> five. I still go out with high value, high earning men, and my beat has not stopped me from any of that, period. How much should a guy earn for you to date him? <laughs> Over 500k! I still, I still a boss of big chub. I ain't doing no <laughs> <laughs> I bust your ass. <laughs> hey. That you do not have to be a size zero or two in order to catch a sugar daddy. So if you're making $50,000, don't do it. I'm, I'm just being for real. Yeah, you're not ready yeah. today. Or get you a bottom of the barrel that's going to date you when you have no money. I'm looking for a cute boyfriend I could buy a car for and a PS5 for. I just got my income tax, so hit me up. Looking for a boyfriend. Fellas, can you name one thing more annoying than a grubu with supermodel standards? While you think about that, let's talk about the dude that's giving them their confidence. Oh, uh, wait. I just gave the answer away. But yes, it's Grubu's boo-boo. And in this video, I want to delve deeper into the mindset behind this destructive relationship and its effects on modern society. Now, before I start, I understand what it's like to be down, bad, low self-esteem and only an inch above depression. And when you're in that state, sometimes you just need to see God. Ain't nothing better than a pumpkin-shaped woman sucking the stuffing out of the muffin. And you know that sound that they make when they breathe while they eating something? Home. And when the shoestrings get the busting and she keeps going without instruction, we call that the Shang Tsung soul sucking. And even the pastor knows I ain't bluffing. Swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? Have you gone through a time of swallowing where everything was overwhelming? And Meanwhile. So if you're making $50,000, don't date. I'm, I'm just being for real. You're not ready to date. Again, I'm with you. You're not right. ready to date. You're not ready to date because courtship costs. Okay. Everything costs. Okay. You can go for 22 walks in the park. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Eventually, Shorty is going to need a sip of something. She's going to be thirsty. <laughs> this <laughs> bottle of water is $3 in Atlanta. Let's oh, not play. Please. So if you don't have any expendable cash, don't date. And whatever that looks like for you, you might only make 50000 but you live in a shoe. And now you got expendable cash. Or get you a bottom of the barrel, barrel bitch that's going to date you when, when you have, have no money. money. If she doesn't have that expectation, and I'm going to tell you this right now, enjoy it while it lasts because eventually you're going to want to run. Because she doesn't stretch you. She doesn't make you the man that you need to become. She allows you to be the stagnant dude in the same jeans for days. You know what I'm saying? Be cutting up. I'm you just talk about me. That clip went viral. And I'm telling you, black men are responsible for most of that BS. And yes, I know other groups of men do it too, but they don't become passport bros and get caught with the same chicks overseas. I used to work for Amazon, and I'm telling you that every brother there had him a refrigerator with high heels as a wife. And you should just hear the way they talk about him. If you didn't know any better, you'd swear he had him a baddie. Hey man, what's your wife like? Oh man, I'm telling you, she got this long hair, man, and she third. Boy, I'm telling you, she third. You're on a pedestal forever. It's my fucking rib. I don't care what anybody says. You're you're my rib. That's my wife. You're up here. Well, what's your favorite side to have with your ribs? Remember the video I made about husbands being pathological liars? If not, then hit the link in the description and go check it out. And while you're down there, leave a like and subscribe. I remember dating this girl from OSU that had two sisters that was grubus. And if you walked towards them while they was eating, they would abruptly start to move. And I'd ask my girl, What's that attitude? Why they acting so rude? And she told me that those grubus was territorial like dogs over they food. Just got my little fish fillet from my Donna baby. I'm so hungry, I eat all of them. Now you might be thinking, NGE. Why do you care about dudes busting shoelaces on grubu faces? We're not causing any problems. Yeah, the hell you are. We date the grubus like we would any other girl. How is that a problem? Well, I'm happy you asked. Let's take a flashback to the past. 
I call them Gru boos because they shape like that bad guy from Despicable Me, Gru. And that's his boo. They get with these Gru boos and they treat them like baddies. One dude will have two Gru boos and then the Gru boos will find out about each other. Then the two Gru boos will leave dude. Now you got two Gru boos out here acting like they do do don't smell like boo boo. So when you come across a Gru boo who feels like she's too cool for tacos and Hulu, just blame that black dude because he's who screwed that Gru boo, causing her to act foo foo with a whole flated mind with her new dude. Now you know who to give gratitude for why the baddie ain't having you. When the fatty gets the same treatment as the baddie do, that explains this modern day attitude. Because we created that personality. We created that. And then we, we want to act like we didn't play a role. God damn. God damn. God damn. Lord have mercy. We must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. And you'd swear these Grooboos got the best box in the world the way these dudes brag after they smash. According to statistics, obese women have the highest rate of STDs. Maybe that's what these dudes mean when they say these Grooboos cuckoo is fire. Yeah, she told you that was hot. Uh-huh, yeah, ain't what you thought though. Mm -mm. Now you gotta go to the clinic. Yeah. All jokes aside, let's get into the real reason why men dating Lizzo-sized women is destructive. First, let's bring up the obvious. Obesity is not healthy, and if not properly addressed, can impact life expectancy. Most men cannot be honest about this issue as it's a hot button topic that most women will get emotional over. Right there is where a vicious cycle of enabling can occur because the man is not incentivized or rewarded for being honest about his wife's weight. More often than not, what happens is men play a large role in actually keeping these women obese through positive reinforcement. This makes him a direct threat to her life and it should be proof that he doesn't love or care about her. When a person loves and cares about you, they're going to tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. To make matters worse, these genetics are handed down to children, and that's not fair to those children. Most women have the inability to identify a proper man or a man that truly has her best interest at heart. So what happens is they'll choose attractive men that seemingly ignore their flaws and get the reward of being a four, dating an eight. This is called trauma bonding. Two people suffering from rejection trauma and fear of abandonment will use each other to cope. Society creates an environment where female obesity is called big and beautiful and attractive but low value men take advantage. So why am I calling these men low value? Because their standards are lower than the standards the women have for themselves. Most obese women don't want obese men. So this is an article, plus sized women admit they aren't attracted to overweight men. And Nick, if you could tab oh over. My God. Yeah, that's good. As a plus sized woman, there's this expectation that you should only date overweight men. Um, but what if you aren't attracted to plus sized men? These women open up about dealing with the stigma of being plus sized and refusing to settle and date overweight men from dealing with harsh criticisms to feelings of guilt for their preferences. Find out what they had to say in all these, in, excuse me, in these tell all confessions. Scroll down. I'll just read the first one. Uh, sometimes I feel guilty because I'm not attracted to bigger guys even though I'm plus size myself. I find it rare to find a big guy that takes care of his appearance and hygiene the way I do. Scroll down. I'll just do read one more. I'm a plus sized woman but I'm not attracted to big guys. I get a lot of hate and criticism for it but I can't help that I like average to muscular types. So on that topic, do you guys have a reaction to that? I'm, I guess I tend to date to more like either tall, skinny, lanky, athletic or you know just fit body types because those are the ones who are talking to me. I, as a plus size girl, wouldn't date someone who's plus size. Mm. Um, because why, why is that? Because I want a guy who I can look at and admire. By virtue of pedestalizing someone, what you're saying is their quality is higher than what you can achieve on average. Men with this mindset couldn't care less about the ramifications of his actions. So red flag number one, ladies, he's a terrible decision maker. He's not a forward thinker or good with money because obesity is expensive. 
And I'm not just talking about grocery bills. I'm also talking about the medical bills. And most of these dudes are Pookies and Ray Rays, but some of them will actually keep it real, but it's always to their own detriment. But I'm wondering how you afford all those gym shoes. She messed up a pound and a half of my weed. It's in it, if you look. If, 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 you, if you look on page, if you look on page two, if you look on Sir, page two, I'm gonna ask the authorities to give you a pass, <laughs> even though you're admitting. I'm being to honest though. She, she's sitting up here Even though you're admitting to be a drug dealer, I'm gonna ask them to give you a pass. Well, that show you I ain't lying about nothing. I'm not lying. She don't want to lie. You saying? Their mother by their side. My daughter did not deserve this, and I want the killer to go to jail. Man, stop sleeping with overweight women. Hell no! Oh, oh, I love my big woman. Man, stop sleeping with overweight women. When you keep sleeping with... Who hurt you? Like... Who hurt you? Also, no. No. Man, stop sleeping with overweight women. When you keep sleeping with them. You ain't gotta put down the plush princesses and their curvy cuties. Like, you ain't gotta do all that. Just be seeing a brother like me but mess with a plus size girl. Don't be mad. Just. Root and mind your business. That's all you gotta do. Man, stop sleeping with overweight women. When you keep sleeping with them, mm -mm, not you sitting up here talking about stop sleeping with overweight women while you sitting up there still rocking your baby teeth. No, we not gonna stop, and I'm gonna tell you why. Believe it or not, that is a lot of men's preference. Guys, you wanna put yourself in the best situation to sleep with beautiful and attractive women, but probably don't sleep with women that's overweight. Guys, you could do a little bit better, and if you need to use your passport to fly out and to go sleep with beautiful women, let's stop right there. It says relationship coach in your bio. What does this have to do with being a relationship coach? It's more like a judgmental coach, body shame coach. It's like you listen to toxic dudes all day and just started taking notes. Because it, it really doesn't add up to me. What exactly are you trying to achieve? I think this type of language is harmful to the male community. Adding no value to our personality and how we view relationships as a whole. There you have it, America. You didn't heard it from Gru Boo's Boo Boo himself. And notice how most of them brothers were from the community. So the next time you see clips like this and you want to know how that confidence is possible, just remember, behind every groo is a boo-boo. And he's the one responsible. Fellas, get your passports. It ain't a lot of groo in Asia. And the benefit is you probably have much healthier kids. And coming up with a name for them should be easy. How to name your Asian baby. King song ding dong. But anyway, man, that's the video for today. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like the damn video. Be sure to click her to see why modern women are afraid of old age in America. If you're missing my shorts, be sure to hit me up on Instagram at NGE underscore never good enough. And if you want to do some business with me, be sure to hit me up on my email at NGE never good enough at gmail.com. And remember, become the change you want to see. It's your boy, NGE. Peace.